Okay, I want to show you the best way to get your floor under a door jam. Okay, when I put this one in, I am running this direction right here. Okay, so I was able to get this one under because I have room to lift it up and lock it in. But now, I wouldn't have that situation over here. So what I did is I laid out my joints so that... When I get to the door jam here, I can do a joint anywhere, a seam rather, anywhere in here. Now what you wanna do when you're cutting for under a door jam, you wanna make you a mark where it goes just under the door, which would be right in here. You wanna be careful that you don't get close over here and leave a gap. You see how the wall goes in right there or the jam? You don't want to see, you want wood there or vinyl or wood or whatever you're putting down. So anyway, so what I do is I make a mark there and then I'll take the same board and I'll pull it up and I can go anywhere in the middle here because my next one will hook in. So what I'll do is I'll make my mark a little bit back and that way I'll uh, square this off. Boom, boom and my floor will ride, slide right in. Okay, now once you get your board cut, what you wanna do is you wanna slide it in and just see how much gap space you have. Make sure you push it all the way in. So I've got a good, good bit of gap space there. When I pull this board back, then I'll have this much gap underneath the jam. You always wanna leave gap under the jam and you see how I've got this spot here. What I did is I made a line. I made my first cut and then I made a line as to where, as to where, uh, how deep to cut it. And then what I did is I went back to my saw and I just stayed on the inside of that line. That way I've got gap underneath so that my uh, board can have expansion and contraction room. And uh, another thing I'm gonna do, just, just so I can uh, show you what, what we're doing here, or what I'm doing, is I'll get that board in first, and then I'll come back and I'll link these back in all the way to the wall. And then when I get on the other side of this door jam, I'll just keep going this direction with the with the vinyl. And that's the best way to get under a door jam when you're in a tight spot like this because you can't lift your vinyl up to get it in the groove. So you have to slide it in like this. And once you get it slid in, uh, once you get it slid all the way in, you can tap it in and it'll go on in. Alrighty, so that's your little tidbit for today on how to get a vinyl plank, laminate, wood, whatever you're putting down under a door jamb.